Okay, so we wanted to do a quick video for you all to talk about one of our very favorite brushes, uh, but one that sometimes creates a little bit of confusion, and that's the black velvet daggers. So these dagger stripers come in a quarter inch, and they also come in a three-eighth inch. And when you get the black velvet dagger in the mail, um, you're probably going to get it one of a couple of ways. You may get it uh, in, in this poly bag, and that's fine or you may get it in one of these plastic tubes and that's fine and in fact you might even get it with a sticker on it that sent you here that said come to this website so thank you for for following that because we wanted to show you so what we wanted to make clear is that um, the black velvet daggers they do come to you looking a certain way um, it has something in it called sizing All right, by the way I'm Warren this is uh, Dee Silver she's the founder of the company uh, I'm Dee's son and current CEO of the company and um, we, we size all the brushes. So when they first are in our factory, um, they have this stuff called sizing. It's basically, it's actually that. It's like this little gummy stuff. Jelly. It just makes the brush look good. Jelly, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Makes the brush look good, but it's not necessary in any way. In fact, you're gonna wash it out before you even use the brush to paint. So whether it has the sizing in it or whether it does not have the sizing in it, that doesn't mean there's anything wrong with the brush, okay? So that's the first thing. And you certainly don't need to resize a brush. We do that here because it's our business, but when we paint, we don't actually resize brushes because then you just have to wash it out again, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I think the biggest question, Mom, that people get is when their brushes look like this, whether it's when they first arrive or when they've used it, uh, a lot of folks think there's something wrong with the brush. This looks like the hairs are not cut right. It looks like it's all fluffy. And mm -hmm. this isn't, you know, they think of a dagger or sometimes people call it a sword. And they think that this is what it should always look like. Mm -hmm. um, so maybe you could explain and you can even show them um, if well, that there's nothing wrong with this brush. Well, well first of all, there, there is nothing wrong with this brush. What, what's happened is all the sizing is out of it. And when you're painting with it, obviously you're going to want all the sizing out of it. So then it's, it is going to look like this. And I hope you can see that flyaway hair that's over here. And I'm going to show you a way to fix that. Okay. Now, sometimes that's kind of annoying. My first uh, admonishment to you is never cut them. Okay. Never cut them because if you do that, you, you get rid of the, uh, what's so delicate, which is the ends. And that's very, very important. Notice I have a big pot of boiling hot water. So I'll show you how hot it is. It's immediately going to start to boil. There you go. We've got a real hot a pot of hot boiling water. And I'm going to take that. Thank you. I'm going to take that and put that in there. Put the brush, the dagger striper in here. And we're going to relax the hair. We're going to relax Boy, the hair. Oh, I'm sorry. You're right. Uh, we're going to relax the hair. <laughs> now, notice it comes right back into its original point. Nice do full. Another do another one. I'll that do another good. one. I'll so do another, another one. Fluffy brush. Another fluffy brush. Here you go. Here right. it is. It's all okay. fluffy. Slow down. Slow down. And okay. Pass me there. there you go. Okay. Notice I'm not leaving it in there a very long time because it's not necessary. But also notice how it's a rolling boil. Notice it's a rolling boil, that pot of hot water. Okay. So here you have a perfect brush. All right. Now here, and you could do this at home too. You can put that down there. Um, what you, we do here is we put it in something called agar agar. A G A R space A G A R. A -G -A -R. And it really looks like, you know what agar agar is used for a lot? Uh, gelatin. It's a gelatin type of thing. You can use that and then your, your brush goes right back to the way it was. But then now, you're going to have to wash that out again to paint with it, right? Yeah, so. but if you're letting it dry and you're finished with your painting session and you don't like that fl a flyaway look, Maybe you should get some agar agar, and that'll keep the hair all together for you. See, there's nothing wrong with the brush. Okay? okay. There's nothing wrong with the brush. You do see another that? One. I'm yeah, going to do more. one more. One more. One more. And then we'll let everybody one, go. One, one more. Why not? We're going to do that. We're going to put that in there. So literally just a second or two. You just wet the yeah. brush. Yeah. Never ever leave the brush in water any length of time. I dipped it, and that's it. Notice it came right back. It relaxes it, puts it down to the tip and it's just perfect. There you go. So if it does come to you, we know that things get knocked around in the mail. It's, that's just the way it is. Yep. So our biggest concern was we, we don't want you to think that there's something wrong with the brush because daggers are unique and you know that sizing can get knocked around, whether it's in the tube or whether it's in the poly bag or right. however it comes to you, even if it's in a set package potentially. Mm -hmm. uh, we just want you all to know that uh, once you wet it, particularly in some warm water, 
like this hot uh, water. really hot water exactly mm -hmm. that it's going to be fine all right all right all right well happy painting thanks everybody thank you